Hey you guys, it's Rashni. Alright, it is 11 p.m. and I just sat down to do this video. It's gonna be like that this year because my son's asleep and the chances of me sometimes getting shots in are minimal to none. So I've told myself to get up here and just shoot this video while it's on my mind. Now, before y'all ask, yes, I cut the rest of my hair off, but it's not time to do all that talking about hair and I don't want that to be what the video is about. So, I put the hat on that I wore today. It's actually my husband's hat. Very happy about it because I can actually get hats on my head now. Not what the video is about. Alright, so I have this idea. I'm going to start this series called Stomp on Depression's Head. Yeah. So you guys know, maybe some of you guys don't know, but I have been dealing with depression in my life for probably the last 20 years. I am 36 years old um, and I have been, yeah, 20 years. I've been dealing with depression unmedicated for the last 20 years. Now, have I ever taken medication? Yes. Um, in the past, for very short periods of time, a few months, twice, um, many, many years ago, but I choose not to because it's not for me. I've done some videos about this in the past. I'll put links to them below if anybody's interested on catching up on this um, particular topic. But this particular video series that I'm going to do, Stomp on Depression's Head, is because I want to share with you guys some of the things that I am currently doing to help manage my current depression. So if you were unaware, um, I put up a video on Valentine's Day about all of the challenges that I had and have had um, with my pregnancy and my son's um, special needs. So it has been a crazy year. I've gotten a lot of love from you guys and I know a lot of people were unaware that it was going on although some people said that they could see what was going on in my eyes um, and it's been a really crazy year. Now when you have a history of depression and, and, and anxiety and then you get pregnant your chances obviously go up because of pregnancy hormones and I was dealing with depression prior to finding out my son's diagnosis. And then of course you could imagine that finding out my son's diagnosis on top of pre-existing depression and then pregnancy hormones just, it turned into chaos. Just absolute emotional psychological chaos. And I am not going to lie to you guys, I am still kind of there right now, but, but I am definitely feeling better. Um, there were some really, really low points last year. In 2012 there were some really low points but I have been doing lots of different things lately to try to help myself um, kind of come up out of the darkness and stomp on depression's head so that's what this series is going to be about this is the first video it's just going to be real quick and then I'm going to head back downstairs um, the first thing that I want to share with you guys is rhythmic music Rhythmic music. Okay, this is going to sound really crazy. Some of these things are going to sound so simple, but I'm telling you, if you put them together, they will help. They're helping me. Um, I'll let you guys know my progress, but they're helping me, so I want to share. Rhythmic music. Now, I was listening to the audiobook of, I think the book is called The Stress Answer by Dr. Frank Lawless. He is the um, head of Dr. Phil's advisory board as well as he has a center, I think in Texas called PHI, I don't remember the name of the center, but I'll put the information on the screen. So Dr. Frank Lawless, he has studied um, depression, anxiety, stress, worry, all, uh, brain function, et cetera, et cetera, for many years, and he is well known in his field. He's one of the top people in his field. I was listening to his book, and he was talking about different um, things that you could do, and one of the things that he recommended was rhythmic music. Not just listening to rhythmic music, um, but dancing around to rhythmic music. Okay, so it sounds silly, but he recommended doing things like that, listening to drum music or any kind of rhythmic music of your liking or any music of your liking, really, and actually dancing around. There's so many benefits. Um, I don't remember all the benefits that he, that he listed out, but you may want to go get that book, and if you don't, at least just try to listen to rhythmic music, drums, anything with a beat, a bass line, Make your own rhythmic music, um, as well as humming helps as well. Because studies have shown, and he has shown in his institute, that it can help rewire your brain. It can actually help re rewire your brain to a more positive place. So, 
in the past, it, I've only been doing it for like a couple, three days now. I, I listen to music, like I was just cleaning up the kitchen after everybody's all, you know, my son's asleep and my husband's passed out or whatever. And I'm cleaning up the kitchen and I went to Pandora and I pulled up a drum and bass um, station. So that's kind of like techno or whatever, you know, or I just play upbeat music, Zumba. Zumba station is fun too. Reggaeton station is cool. If you have Soka from the Virgin Islands or, the, you know, anywhere from the islands you throw on your calypso or whatever you know so anything that gets you going and then even better dance around to it, it it'll it help kind of free you up and it'll help um, rewire your brain according to Dr. Lawless and let's see if this helps so anyway I know this might seem silly hopefully this video series is going to help somebody and you know what I was thinking about I told my friends the other day I said praise really is the weapon because biblically speaking if you're a Christian you know that they say God inhabits the praises of his people and praise is your weapon okay and you're not gonna tell me that God didn't know that getting out that shot that two-step and that Shabbat was gonna rewire your brain so anyway stop on depression's head this is the first in the series there will be more coming up because I've been doing a lot of different things but just to be able to get these videos out I'm just gonna throw them up and do it like this rhythmic music rhythmic dancing if you Try this and it helps you in any way, shape, or form. Once a day, um, dance around to it. You know, play it while you're showering. Play it while you're getting dressed in the morning to pump you up. Play it while you're doing your chores. Whatever. Please let me know and I will um, see you guys in the next Stomp on Depression <laughs> Stomp on Depression's Head video. Okay. Bye, you guys.